Welcome to our YouTube channel A to Z Summary. Here is a detailed analysis and summary of the book Verity by Colleen Hoover. Before proceeding further to the summary, I request you to please subscribe our YouTube channel. We have a collection of 1,000 plus books and novels. The characters of the book are The themes of the book are Verity by Colleen Hoover is a psychological thriller novel published in 2018. It follows the story of Loan Ashley, a struggling writer who was hired to ghostwrite the remaining books in Verity Crawford's successful series after Verity suffers a debilitating car accident. The novel has been praised for its well developed characters, its complex plot, and its exploration of dark and difficult themes. It has also been criticized for its graphic content and its depiction of female characters. In the beginning of the story, Loan Ashley, a writer, witnesses the death of a guy on her way to a meeting with her publisher. Jeremy Crawford, a gorgeous stranger, helps her. They quickly bond and share their recent personal bereavement experiences. Verity's mother died of cancer lately. Both of Jeremy's twin children died within six months of each other. They part ways, only to realize they are both on their way to the same rendezvous at Pantem Press. Jeremy is the husband of Verity Crawford, a well-known author who cannot complete the final three novels in her successful series The Noble Virtues. The offer sent to Loan begs her to complete the books in exchange for a large sum. Loan accepts the proposal and agrees to fly to Vermont to collect notes from Verity's office. Loan's literary agent and previous lover, Corey, urges her to be cautious given the strange nature of Verity's automobile accident, which has rendered her immobile. Loan makes his way to Vermont. Crew, a five-year-old boy, is the only surviving Crawford kid. Uncomfortable, Loan strives to settle in and get to work. She soon discovers a book titled So Be It, which she misidentifies as Verity's autobiography but is a writing exercise in which Verity explores violent emotions to understand people better. Verity and Jeremy's first encounter in the autobiography burst passionately, and their lively sex life takes center stage. Loan notices Verity looking at her while she reads and feels increasingly intimidated by her presence. Loan is disturbed by the manuscript's content and assumes Verity played a hand in her daughter's deaths. Loan and Jeremy's connection deepens, and they almost kiss. Loan learns about Verity's twins, Harper and Chaston, and how she neglects them throughout the day while Jeremy is at work. Loan goes for a sleepwalk and wakes up in Verity's bed. She tells Jeremy about a horrible event she had when she was 10, culminating in her mother's neglect and a two-week mental examination. Jeremy consoles Loan. Jeremy installs a lock outside Loan's bedroom door to calm his fears. Loan learns about Verity's dream in which Harper murders Chaston. As a result, Verity decides to murder Harper by forcing her to drink her vomit. Jeremy intervenes before she achieves her goal. Verity becomes pregnant with Crew to appease Jeremy, who feels Verity is not treating Harper appropriately. Loan relaxes with Jeremy on the eve of her 32nd birthday. They start having intercourse. Loan notices Verity standing at the top of the steps, observing them. Loan resolves to complete the autobiography before deciding whether or not to tell Jeremy the truth about Verity. She learns that Chaston died during a sleepover due to an allergic reaction. Verity becomes certain that Harper was involved in her sister's death. Loan is momentarily alone with Verity on her birthday, whom she confronts. Verity is immobile. Later that evening, Loan advises that Jeremy place Verity in a nursing home to alleviate the strain of her care. Harper drowned in the water, according to Loan. Verity purposefully capsizes the boat and does not seek to rescue Harper. Jeremy informs Loan that Verity will be transferred to a nursing home on Monday and requests that she stay another week. She concurs. They have exposed intercourse. When Loan is alone with Crew, he quizzes him about Harper's death date. Crew slashes himself with a knife by mistake. Jeremy drives him to the hospital for sutures, leaving Loan alone with Verity. Loan locks the door and installs a baby monitor in Verity's room. She keeps an eye on the monitor and reads the final chapter of the text. Verity's book concludes with Jeremy doubting Verity's role in Harper's death. 
Verity considers suicide as a reaction. Jeremy reappears. Lowen notices Verity lying on the floor of her bedroom on the baby monitor. She dashes upstairs to face Verity once again. Jeremy grabs Lowen and orders her to leave. Lowen ultimately hands over the document to Jeremy and requests that he read it. Jeremy confronts Verity and threatens to call the cops on her. Verity blinks and opens her eyes. Jeremy starts strangling her. Lowen interrupts him and proposes he murders Verity in the same manner she attempted to murder Harper as a newborn. Verity was choked on her vomit by Jeremy. Lowen and Jeremy swear they will never talk about what occurred. Seven months after Verity's death, a pregnant Lowen, Jeremy and crew returned to Vermont. Lowen finds a letter from Verity to Jeremy. Verity describes how her manuscript was a writing exercise called hostile journaling that helped Verity get into the heads of her wicked characters. Verity tells how Jeremy discovered the book the days after Harper's death and subsequently arranged a vehicle accident to murder her. Verity confesses to looking at Lowen, locking her in her room, and plotting to flee with crew. Lowen chooses to burn the letter to keep Jeremy at peace. She pledges to keep the secret till she dies. Seven months after Verity's death, a pregnant Lowen, Jeremy and crew returned to Vermont. Lowen finds a letter from Verity to Jeremy. Verity describes how her manuscript was a writing exercise called hostile journaling that helped Verity get into the heads of her wicked characters. Verity tells how Jeremy discovered the book the days after Harper's death and subsequently arranged a vehicle accident to murder her. Verity confesses to looking at Lowen, locking her in her room, and plotting to flee with crew. Lowen chooses to burn the letter to keep Jeremy at peace. She pledges to keep the secret till she dies. In the end, Verity, the queen of manipulation, even after her death, won. She had destroyed their lives with a lie. The ending of Verity is both ambiguous and disturbing. It leaves the reader wondering about the nature of truth and reality. It also raises questions about the ethics of writing from the perspective of a villain. Thank you for watching the summary. I hope you liked it. Please subscribe to our channel for regular summaries. We also have a collection of 1,000 plus summaries of books, novels, and poems at our website at a Thank you and take care.